Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create checkmark bullet list like this using Elementor and CSS. So let's get started. Let's use the text editor widget and create a bullet list here. So I will type in a few lines, let's say line one, line two, and line three, and create a bullet list out of this. So select the text, go to bulleted list, and now we will apply some styling in order to create check marks in a circle for this list. To do this, go to the advanced panel and first assign a class to this list. I will call it bullet list check mark. Note that you don't have to use a dot when you're naming this class in Elementor. So just type the plain name of the class. Click update. And now if you go to and apply some CSS styling, Let's see what happens. I'm using a custom CSS and JavaScript plugin to add my custom CSS code. You can find the link in the description. Uh, in this custom CSS, so let's first call out our class and start styling it. So I will use the dot this time. Bullet list checkmark is the name of my class. And I will start, start with uh, styling the list item. So I will type li. And first I will give it a font size, 21 pixels for example. Now I want to clear this uh, list of any default styling that Elementor applies in order to apply my own. So I will click style, uh, list style none and list style image none. If you click on update, let's see what this creates. It creates a bulleted list an ordered list but without any bullets so far so that we can create our own. Uh, in order to make this check mark in a circle I will explain you the logic. So basically what we will be doing is that we will be styling the circle and then the check mark. Uh, so first of all uh, we want to style the circle so I will call the class again list item and I will type here before. This means that everything I type here will be styling the circle of the check mark. So first we need to say content will be an empty string. We need to do this in order to apply this to our circle. Display block. And to create a circle, what we need to do is create a border with a radius. So border will be solid and let's say 0.5 em and the color should be red. If you're wondering what is EM, I will create a video explaining the difference between EM and pixel values and why I strongly suggest re recommend using the EM values. Basically what this does is that you can size up or down your text and the bullets or any element that has the EM value will decrease or increase proportionally. Here I had a mistake. Uh, we also want to create a border radius of the same thickness of the line, so 0.5 em. Click on update. Let's refresh our page. And as you can see, this creates a border, but it's not really a bullet that we want. So in order to create a bullet itself, we will click on, we will type position, absolute, and left zero pixels. This will create a bullet and push it to the left of our list. Now we will style uh, uh, this a little bit later on, but let's first create a check mark. So I will again call the class list item, and now I will use after to style my check mark, not the circle itself. Again, I will use content, an empty string. Display will be block. And uh, now what you want to do is basically create a rectangle that has borders only on two sides. The other two sides will have no borders and then rotate that rectangle 45 degrees. That is the logic behind creating a check mark. So let's go back to our code and do this. 
to the width of our rectangle. Let's say we want it to be 0.3 em. The height will be the double of our width, so it is 0.6 em. Border will be solid and white, and the border width, this is the magic. So the top part, the top border will be 0, right one will be 0 0.1. 145 em for example the bottom one also 0.145 em and the left one will be zero let's click on update and let's see what happens so far you can't really see the check mark because we need to apply some more lines of code here we need to say that the position will be absolute and the left position will be 0.35 ems and let's rotate it straight ahead so transform rotate 45 degrees click update let's see if it does create any difference not just yet so what we need to do also is use the top property, let's say 20%, click on update. And as you can see, the check mark is starting to appear here. Now, in order to fix this, what we want to do is go to our uh, list item styling here. And I want to type here Or yes, I want to type here position relative. Let's update. And as you can see, this fixes it. Now, as you can see, we still have some styling to do here. So first of all, what I want to do is to indent or to add some left padding to these list items. So I will go here in the list item code and type in padding left 1.5 em for example update and as you can see it's looking much better and the last thing i want to do is to put the circle a little bit more down it is a little bit too high up so to style the circle i will use the before part of the code and i will type top what works for me is 12%, but you might need to experiment with these values. Click update, and this is how it looks now. So, as you can see, we've styled our bullet list, and what this gives you is the opportunity to change the color of the bullet, the color or the thickness of the check mark. You can always use an image instead of uh, trying to code this bullet list, this check mark bullet list uh, using CSS. But let me show you if I want to create a black bullet list, for example, all I need to do is go to the before tab and type in black, or let's say we want this to be blue, update, refresh, and there you go. I can change the thickness of this check mark as well. So I need to go to the after part of the code and in border width let's say I want this to be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 to have a really thin check mark update refresh and there you go so this gives you more control uh, over how your bullet list looks like without the need to update the image itself and to upload and so on and regarding the EM values, what I meant by using the EM values is that if we change the size of this text now, so let's say instead of 21 pixels, I want to put 14 pixels, update, because we use the EM values, when I refresh the page, see what happens, the bullet list resizes accordingly. Or let's say that we, are, we want this to be 34 pixels, click on update, and there you go. So this resizes the bullet list proportionally to the text pixel values because we use the EM instead of 
absolute pixel values. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, feel free to comment, like or subscribe.